Well, many people consider art to be an expression of love as we approach Valentine's Day. And so we've got Kim Easter um, alongside. Just uh, you, you're going to teach us a few things about acrylics. And at the same time, um, what is it about a, a Valentine's Day outing doing something active that makes it so special? Creating something, right? Right. You, you spend time with the person and you come away with uh, a little keepsake or an item. Yep. And so you've got all this at Wild Hair Gallery. Just in time for Valentine's Day, you're excited about um, some of the offerings that you have. Um, we're going to do a little piece of artwork, but a new thing that you have is your DIY paint kits. You've got we one do. beside you. Tell us about we those. Do. This is um, a new, just came in over the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been an idea in my head for two years, but it took me a while. Yeah. So the kit includes everything you need. You'll have your picture here. The canvases are pre-drawn, so you don't have to worry about, I can't draw. Okay. And then they include paint brushes, a little apron, and written instructions. And some will link to a video. So okay. they're a DIY paint kit. Very cute. And you can kind of find a theme. You know, we were talking about doing this. We're looking at a Valentine's theme. So I think that when we get the paint kit home, we understand about coloring the basic colors in, but you're going to teach us a few of the, the detail tricks, right. maybe after you've already done the color. So we're working right. on this. Um, walk me through. What, what can I learn to make this kind of next level for my paint kit? Well, we're looking at detail today. Okay. We've already got our background on. We've got most of our little gnome on. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what you're going to show along with me is finishing. Let's dive so in. So what I want you to do is take a, a, your bigger brush, get it wet, mm -hmm. wipe it off, and then this pink that comes in your, your little paint kit, we're going to paint the stripes that aren't red. So okay. if you'll just, just use in. the flat side of that brush. And whatever effect you want, if you add a little bit more water, it ends up being a little, right. a little clearer if I want to and, well, and pink. The and beauty of the kit is it's yours. You can add white to make your paint more opaque. Yeah. Um, with uh, the colors that we have here, uh, I've used some orange and made a coral. Oh, that's and, nice. And um, so you can, once you get it home, you, you look at my instructions and you say, okay, I like this color. And you also make it your own because there are different color schemes you might want to put in place. And, right. And you, you start with a suggestion, though. That's what's kind of nice because right. people are overwhelmed. They think they might not know how to piece it together. So they say, how would you do it? Well, and this way, you, you know, you really do have an original. You, yeah. Right, and see, the next? our pink is a little, a little pale, so we would let that dry and go over it again. Okay. Um, but what, we're going to rinse our brush. Always keep your brush wet. Mm -hmm. Keep and rinsing. Keep rinsing. <laughs> and then what we're going to do now is we're going to work on some of the detail. And I'm going to give you that. Oops. This is one of gotcha. the things that comes in the kit is these uh, handy dandy little markers. So, just draw your black line Yeah, around. because you couldn't do this with a paintbrush very well. This is, well, it's nice to be able to use some yeah. markers on some of these elements, you, right? You could, but you could. this is easier. <laughs> yeah. This is more fun. And that might be what separates the, the artist who's really comfortable moving a paintbrush across a canvas versus the rest of us who are just trying to well, make a semblance of something we might want to put on the wall. We're not making fine art. We're making fun art. That so is the difference. you make it so it works for you and, and that it, it's, it's enjoyable. And do you think people, sometimes I know they, they set up that canvas and they think, oh, this needs to be perfect. This needs to look a certain way. But the fact is, thinking about it being fun art instead of fine art probably helps it be less intimidating. Right. And um, the kits are great. You can make a gift to give someone or you could give it as a gift. We sold... Mm -hmm. 40, I think, at Christmas for gifts. Oh, wow. Yeah, so well, that's that was, neat, though. That was you know, somebody's going to be doing something meaningful at home. Well, and you think about you, you've got a dinner or something, and you have people in your house, and dinner's over. Now, what do we do? Now, what do we do? Get, break those out. And people will be thrilled because sometimes you do. You run out of, you, there's a certain amount of eating and talking and wine drinking, and now you can do something a little bit extra. So, yeah. after I would trace that, I'd wait for that to dry. Mm -hmm. What's next on my list? So, now we're going to work on our background. And again, background is up to you, but we're mm -hmm. going to do some polka dots. We're using uh, little q tips. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the kits come with marshmallows. Oh, that's because cute. Because they make a adorable circle. So, you just put your, your q tip in whatever you want. I'm going to do white. And then we're just dabbing. A Q-tip makes a nice. It makes a round. circle. Again, a paintbrush. You're gonna you're gonna have less control, yeah. and you don't think about this is fun art tools. Yeah, and you, you could also do this with the back of your brush too. Anything okay. that's round, and so we can do whatever colors. And here's another one that's a good one to to mix your colors and overlap them. No such thing as too many 
polka dots. Never, never. Um, and as we do this, you know, you're always engaging people in these fun ways at Wild Hair Gallery. You've got all kinds of events and exhibits coming up. Mm, um, do. You have some other ideas for people wanting to make art, maybe part of a Valentine's outing this we next do. week or two. Uh, in fact, Friday, I mm -hmm. have a couple's paint class coming up that is uh, birch trees. I think you've got a picture maybe, and you paint two canvases that go together. Mm -hmm. But we also have the kits going on. We do classes all the time, so there's always something. And this month we have our Mardi Gras reception. So you asked we have artists. a mask competition yeah. going on. And, and you asked artists to create their own Mardi Gras masks. There's still time yeah. for them to create one. There and is, you there hang is. Them on the wall? Yeah, yeah, we've got them, we've got them started. Okay. okay, while you're there, let's, stick, let's take a little bit of red. Okay. And you have a line drawn? and we're gonna paint that as our foreground so he's not floating. Oh, I like him standing on this on this right. nice red surface. He has a purpose. He's standing there. Wonderful. And now on this one, you can take that heart on your envelope uh -huh. and write, I love you, write somebody's initials. And um, you can, if you were good with a paintbrush, you could do it that way, or you can just take the Sharpie marker. and I. <laughs> I'll just make it spread all the way across. There you go. Um, Look, you really did a better job than me. Hey, thanks for noticing Good my job. natural Good talent job. and walking me through this. Um, at Wild Hair Gallery, always have something fun happening. And so we'll put um, this segment and that information on screen for upcoming classes. Anything okay. else before we go? Um, we'd love to see everybody yep. drop in the third Thursday and meet our new artist and see our Mardi Gras masks. All right, third Thursday. Thank you so much, uh, Kim Easter. Wild Hair Gallery is located at 212 North Poinsett Highway in Traveler's Rest. And people who uh, people want to follow you, they can learn about your art. They can check the website, kimeasterart.com. We're we'll link that to ours on accesscarolina.com. Thank you.